Hello, this is Dr. James Boggs uh, with Three Nails Woodworking. Uh, I'm working on my shop, uh, setting up my shop uh, miter stations, building my miter station. I've already got four cabinets built. The carcasses, the outside of them, I haven't got the drawers in, I haven't got the face frames on them, I haven't got them screwed together and, and leveled up. But they're kind of level, but I'm going to put some level feet on them. And here's what I have right here. You have to uh, forgive me for my video. Uh, I'm just using my cell phone. Uh, that's the miter saw. Uh, but it's not going to stay on that stand. That's a mobile stand. I'm going to turn this little mobile cart into my drill press cart because I got it sitting on my workbench. I got to get it off my workbench. This workbench here, this bottom part here, back part here, folds down. I got it on metal brackets that fold down. Uh, they're, they're really unique there. Uh, and this here is just a little over 20 four inches wide and six feet long and my workbench here is 20 inches wide and five feet long uh, so I can have a just a narrow workbench if I'm just piddling around doing small stuff and if I need a big spot which I'll be doing here in a few minutes I can fold that up and lay out anything I need on it I can even work up a big sheet of plywood on it uh, with my track saw and stuff. Uh, but uh, like I say, I built these carcasses uh, and it's, uh, I wanted to show you an easy way to square up the carcass of your cabinets. It's, it's real simple. Uh, if you do, do this, one, one thing. Now what I did, I cut the sheetrock, the four by eight sheetrock, right down the middle, 20, 24 inches. And that automatically makes both sides lengthwise, the whole eight foot, 24 inches. And that automatically makes both sides of it uh, even with each other, uh, right down the middle. There'll be just a hair less than 24 inches wide because of the saw blade. Uh, depending on the thickness of your saw blade. And then I measured up, I figured up how high I want them. I want them right around 33 uh, inches, uh, my countertop. So I cut them at 32 inches. Uh, and I cut on the other side of the line to make it exactly 32 inches. Uh, if you cut exact on the other side of the line, they come up, it's actually, you get, actually get 32 inches square. I mean, yeah, and then your box would be square, 24 by 32. And you can get six pieces of uh, plywood like that. And you can build two cabinets like that. Uh, take the two of them that's 32 inches, and you'll use those as your size. Now the third piece, when you, after you cut the first one 32, and then the next one 32, and cut on the other side of the line so it's exactly 32, the last one is the third one on that one side, and, and or on both sides, is actually gonna be smaller than 32. So what I do, I use that for the bottom, and the brackets, the braces, uh, to square up the top. So I, what I do is I do figure up how wide I want the depth of them inside because I just did glue and uh, uh, pocket holes on the bottom. And of course on these braces are pocket holes too. So I decided I wanted 24 inches it, it, from side to side. I wanted a space exactly 24 inches. So you cut the length of that second board, which is just a hair less than 32 inches, 
you cut it at 24 exactly and then cut on the other side of the line. And then you'll have this one piece here, these two pieces that's actually be one piece. And then you just split it, take it down the table saw and just, it's a mess right there. I've got a bunch of everything moved around uh, in the shop try, trying to organize this place. But you just uh, cut it down the length of it. And then you use these as your brace on the top and then the these two braces and the bottom is exactly 24 inches wide and so you screw your bottom together and i raised it up a little bit i haven't notched these corners out yet uh because they're not screwed together or anything and then you put your top braces in and then that automatically squares up that automatically squares up your carcass. All your corners, every one of them, is gonna be square. Automatically. It's a, actually, this way of doing it is actually a no-brainer. I mean, and I don't say don't take brains to do it, but it's so easy, it's hard to mess up. The only way you're gonna mess it up is if you don't cut a straight line. <laughs> if you, as long as you cut that straight line, square line, you know, when you cut it all out, it's gonna be square automatically. It's automatic. So I wanted to show you that part. Now what I'm gonna do next, so I'm gonna take one of these uh, boxes, the carcass, and put it on my work table. And I'm gonna use this Craig jig here to put shelf pin brackets in. And these things are actually, this thing is actually pretty neat. You just uh, set it on here. Well, I'll show you here in a minute. I'm gonna get this up on the table and then, and that'll help you see what I'm talking about. So forgive me for a few minutes, I'm gonna be picking that up and moving it over to the table. I'm gonna turn this other light on back here. I've got three big LED lights going down the length of my shop. They didn't have this back one on. But what you do is you just set this thing here and you start drilling your holes. Now, where I set it at right now is the bottom of the, the carcass. Now I usually don't put them, start from the bottom. I usually come up to the fourth hole from the bottom. This is the bottom. And I'll come up the fourth hole and I'll start my drilling right here. And then I'll drill down to the length of it, these three holes, and then I'll move this up here and then you got a pin you set in here. And you keep on drilling until as high as you want. Now up on the top end, I'm, I'm going to put, of course this is the back side of the carcass, the front side's over there. Uh, I'm going to put drawers. Uh, it's, I'm not sure how deep I'm going to do, but I'm just going to go ahead and put pocket holes up to about right in here. And, uh, and then later on I may take shells out and put drawers in them. But, but I'm gonna have drawers in all the top parts of my miter station. And once I get these peg holes drilled, then I will uh, put level feet on them. This is the bottom here. I'm gonna put level feet on them. Uh, <clears throat> 
Now I have these 11 feet here. <coughs> these 11 feet here, I got eight of them. So what I'm gonna do on the outside ones, I'm gonna put these on the outside ones. I'm gonna put two on one end It'll be that in on this actually on this carcass because that's the one that goes over there and then i'm gonna put two on this one and right here and but that, that leave my middle uh unbalanced and i could put two more in there and drill holes in them and then adjust them like that but what i'm going to do i'm going to use these little brackets right here drill holes in here on the bottom edge of the middle ones i've got eight of them and then the nuts to go in and you can adjust them and once i get to that part i'll i'll show you but i don't know i don't think i'm gonna get that far this today so i'm just gonna drill these pocket holes out i mean not pocket holes but these shelf pin brackets out and then We'll work from there. I'm gonna have to slide this table out a little bit and get my drill. And there's a bunch of bone that I got mixed up uh, to work up. And there's some reindeer and a sled that I made. We'll get both my drills out here. I got them on my peg holders. I'm gonna build a drill station after I get these tables, these, uh, get everything settled. But I'm gonna start drilling these out. I'm gonna kind of set it in here and let you watch it. See how I, I do it. So I start up the fourth hole and I'll drill out and make sure that's nice and square. Drill give me a fit this morning. Didn't have tension set up high enough. Like I say, I, I start up the fourth hole and I work my way down. Now I'll get that little pin out of the box here. It's got this little pin here. You set it in the last hole you drilled and then you square everything up again. Then you can continue on drilling. pin in there and keep on drilling. And that's as high as I'm going to go with these here. And then of course you, you got to do this other side. Then you got to flip it over and do your other side of the Carcass. So that's how you do that. And you just come over here and you set it down on the other side of your carcass. Because, like I said, I'm not going to do down here on the bottom. I'll start at the fourth hole. 
and drill them like that. And this, doing it this way automatically lines up your holes. You don't have to worry about your holes being not lined up with each other from across each other. This jig right here, unless you do it like this, it automatically lines everything up. So all your shelf pins will be level. And you won't have no stock eyed or wonky shell pin holes. All your shelves will be perfectly level. Just keep going. You just keep drilling till you get up to where you stopped on the other side. And now finish this one side. Then of course you got to turn the carcass over. You gotta turn that carcass over and do it again on the other side. But see, I'll have to clean them holes up. But that makes them shell pin holes exactly the same. I'm gonna stop right here and come back so to have part two of my Midasol station bill. I just want to let y'all know I appreciate you watching this. This is Dr. James Boggs with Three Nails Woodworking, uh, trying to get this shop organized. God bless y'all.